In this morning's Health Watch, the real skinny on diet soda. According to a new study in Eating Well magazine, diet sodas could actually cause you to gain weight. And Dr. Holly Phillips is here with the details. Good morning to you, Doc. Thank Good you for being Rebecca. here. So what surprised me most when I looked at this study is the fact that you drink two diet sodas a year over 10 years, mm -hmm. and the people in that study actually gained in their waist circumference versus those who weren't drinking diet sodas. Yeah, absolutely. We're, what we're finding really is that even though the diet soda doesn't have calories, it does have consequences. I have so many patients, particularly young women, who I, I refer to them as diet soda addicts. They'll drink four or five a day. A lot of them use the diet soda to replace their coffee in the morning, so they're really having so many sodas throughout the day. But it's sort of a mentality where you feel like I'm saving on the calories here so I can splurge somewhere else. And obviously that splurging is, is one of the things that leads to the weight gain, but exactly. it's not just about weight. I mean, diet soda isn't just potentially negative on your health for that reason, is it? Right. No, there are, there are a lot of different theories about it, um, in fact, as to why it's causing this weight gain. Particularly one of them is that we think that the sweeteners in the diet soda may affect how our bodies metabolize insulin. That has to do with our blood sugar. It might lower our blood sugar somewhat, causing us to crave more sweets and more calories, so we're making it up for it in other ways. Uh, the other thing is that the sweeteners themselves may cause weight gain. That's one of the things that we're really sort of working to understand better. And they've also been linked with diabetes. So there are mm -hmm. really many sort of long-term effects uh, that we're seeing with these sweeteners in the diet sodas. Nothing is free in life. It's unfair. Yeah. <laughs> and just the notion, just the notion that it could be linked to diabetes. I have a lot of diabetics in my family. Mm -hmm. They drink diet soda. So so right. this is a real uh, a call to action for them to think about. Yeah, but you know what, Rebecca? It's hard to call one better than the other, diet versus regular. Because, for instance, if you're going to have four or five sodas a day and they're regular, that's about an entire day's worth of calories and a lot of sugar, particularly if you're a diabetic. So, you know, water is not a bad right. thing. <laughs> right. As a doctor, you're not saying drink diet soda. You're saying stop drinking the soda right. altogether or drink it in moderation as opposed to, as opposed to a ton of it. Either way. Exactly, Rebecca. It's all about balance. One or two sodas a week, you know, you're probably not going to see a huge effect in your overall health. But if you're up to one or two a day, or like my patients, four or five, that's when you really start seeing effects from the chemicals themselves. If it is just one or two sodas a week, is mm -hmm. there, do you have a preference whether people drink diet or regular soda? You know, it, it really depends on you and, and, and your body mm -hmm. itself. If you are diabetic, it's good to avoid the sugar. Um, but in general, I tell people, People, I'd rather see them have the sugar than the chemicals. Um, so, you know, it really depends, and it's one of the things to think about and talk with your doctor about. But there's really no need to have it, although mm -hmm. I admit I indulge as well. You and know. I drink the diet stuff, too. It, it, it's, well, you feel like you're saving. Right. If I'm going to have a burger and fries, <laughs> let me save on the calories here. I'll do a diet soda. Right. <laughs> uh, yep, that's the thinking. Dr. Holly Phillips, thanks so much. Have sure. a great weekend.